All right, this is a binomial problems basic. It says Anita is a fast food chain specializing in hot dogs and garlic fries. Keeps track of the proportion of its customers who decide to eat in the restaurant, so it can make decisions regarding the possible construction of in-store play areas, the attendance of its mascot Sammy at franchise locations, and so on. Anita's reports that 48% of his customers order their food to go. If this proportion is correct, what is the probability that in a random sample of four customers at Anita's, exactly three order their food to go? So, how we go about doing this is, let me find that page. We use the binomial probability formula which is found on page 279. So, on page 279 in your book, you will see this formula. It says, actually, I probably have it right here. Nope. Let me type in 279. That's actually how to do it on a calculator. Here it is. It says, in a binomial experiment, the probability of exactly eight successes in n trials is p of x, and it's found by, you'll recognize this part, isn't that the combination formula, isn't that n choose x, and then times p of x times q of n minus x. So, it's pretty straightforward. What you need to know is that p P is the probability of success. Um, in this case, P is 0.48. So, all right, 0.48. If P is 0.48, Q is the probability of failure, and it's always 1 minus P. So it's 0.52. And what does it say? It says do N choose X. So it's N it's the number of customers. N is the number of trials. So we have four customers here. And X is how many successes um, we have in those four trials. So this value P of X comes out to 4 choose 3 times 0.48 notice that's being raised to the x power so the x power is 3 um, times 0.52 to the n minus x n minus x is how many failures we're expecting we're expecting three successes that three order their food to go and one failure. There you go. And you calculate this. 4 choose 3 is 4 and then 0.48 cubed times 0.52 is very simple to do with Alex. And when I did this problem a second ago I got it right. Okay so that's how it's done. Now I'm going to go through and do the same thing again but with another problem. So let's look here at Alex. It's a uh, not hard at all. A TV executive is interested in the popularity of a particular cable TV show. She has been told that a whopping 68% of households would be interested in tuning into a new network version of the show. If this is correct, what pro what is the probability that all six of the households in her cities being monitored by the TV industry would tune in to the new show? So, assuming um, the six households constitute a random sample. So the six, we're looking for six out of six. Well, if you do six choose six, you'll get one. That's the easiest thing that they can give you as far as um, a combinatoric uh, question. So six choose six is one, and then you have to do um, that times 
P to the X. P to the P is 0.68, and we want that to happen six times. So where's my power? To the sixth power. And then normally you multiply it by, whoops, by, well, you multiply it by 0.32, which is the complementary probability, the probability of failure, to its um, its power. Its power is if there's six successes, then there's zero failures. And you might think, hey, 0.32 to the zero, isn't that zero? No, actually, it's not. Anything to the zero power is one. So this will come out one, which is why you don't even have to put it in at all. Okay? Because there are, we are expecting no failures, so we don't have to account for the probability of those failures happening. So what do I do? I just go enter, and my answer is 0 0.098, so about 10%. They want me to round to three decimal places. It says 0 0.0988, so I'm going to have to go 0 0.0988 rounds up to 0 0.099, so pretty close to 10%. And that's it. That's how it's done. It's uh, it's very straightforward. Um, it's just knowing how to use a formula. So let's look at that one last time before I cut off the video. Um, where's my one note? The formula again is n choose x times p to the x times q to the n minus x. And then in here, n is the number of trials, x is the number of successes. So we're raising this. These numbers are the same, okay? And q is raised to the n minus x because if x is the number of successes, n minus x is the number of failures. So we're going to raise the probability of failure to that power. We're going to raise the probability of success to its power. This actually goes back to the um, to those distributions we were doing before. Uh, it relates to Pascal's triangle. I'm sorry, I'm yawning. Um, but you just need to, you don't have to understand all the theory behind this. You just need to know how to enter the values for now. Okay. And that's it. Bye.